Hi, I'm Ben from TRC Outdoors, and today I want to talk to you about Cieso shirts. TRC Outdoors Cieso shirt. So this is our take on a classic design. Uh, many, many moons ago, uh, it used to be quite common for guys to try and get hold of uh, discarded cargo parachutes, which they would then chop up to make a very lightweight, windproof shirt. Uh, something that could fit very, very small, pack down small, fit into a, a pouch and you could pull out and add a, a really effective layer very, very quickly. Uh, this is our take on it. As I said, we've taken uh, non-recycled materials, obviously, so we've got modern fabrics and modern construction techniques on it, rather than it being run up by someone's wife on their home sewing machine, as it was back in the day. So, it's a very lightweight, windproof garment. The idea is that it's a windproof outer layer or you can wear it as an intermediate layer and it adds an awful lot of warmth by cutting that wind chill out uh, with the minimum of added bulk or weight. It is not a combat outer layer, it's not intended for that. This is the kind of thing that you would put on, say you're on a patrol and you've got a hasty halt or if you're just hiking in the mountains and you want to, you've got the problem with the wind chill, you just want to cut that. That's what it's for, okay? Additionally, military users, absolutely great for wet, dry drills in the jungle. So we've got this in three colorways. First up, as you can see, we've got the uh, multi-terrain camouflage pattern, okay? We selected this pattern because the colors and shapes, etc., in it were the best to uh, match or be compatible with the myriad of different multi-terrain patterns used in militaries around the world. We also have the iconic night camouflage pattern. Um, big favorite of mine. It's one of these things, you stick it on, it looks cool. Um, if you know, you know, uh, you recognize the pattern. And so it's also, it's camouflage without being over the top looking like a camo pattern, if you see what I mean. And then we've got the plain solid coloured earth tone. Uh, this one was, again, it's the idea behind this is that it's compatible with, uh, uh, the, with military uniforms, uh, as well as for sort of outdoors and bushcrafty people that maybe don't want to wear a camo colour, but still don't want to wear a bright colour that jars with their environment. Okay, so let's talk about the garment itself. It's made from very lightweight, yet dense uh, 30 denier polyester. Okay, it also has a, a ripstop grid in it to prevent it from tearing. Uh, the other thing that sets this garment apart is its construction. So, mainly in terms of the seams. So here's the internal seam. So you go to pretty much any garment you own and you have a look at the seams and it will have this kind of loopy stitching along the edges of it. This is called overlock. Okay, and that's a four, normally in garments there's a four thread overlock, right? Imaginative naming, yeah? If you get hold of that seam and you pull on it, that will come apart. Okay, it's something that's used as a very cheap and easy way, uh, a very rapid way of putting garments together uh, because the seam is made in one pass. But it does for these kind of things lack strength. So we've used a five thread overlock. Again, another imaginatively named stitch. And what that has done has added this extra row of stitching here behind the uh, overlock on the edge. And what that does is it gives a great deal of strength into the seam and that will prevent it parting on you, especially when you've got such a lightweight sheer fabric. All right, the next key thing in the construction is this elastication. It's called Bonadex elastication. Um, it's not very common these days. Uh, it's the kind of thing you used to see on shelf suits back in the 90s. Yes, I am showing my age, but it has significant advantages over the other methods. If you look at similar type garments or indeed other garments that are generally uh, sold in the outdoor for the outdoor industry, they've either got 
just a piece of elasticated cord with a toggle on it. Uh, you can't with that get a nice even uh, setting on it, nice even tension across the, uh, the whole area. Equally, you've got a toggle that can fail, uh, can break and fail on you, rendering the garment uh, non-usable. Or the other way that it's done is you have a piece of flat elastic that's just encased inside a fold in the, um, in the fabric. And what happens with that is it all gets twisted inside and then it doesn't lie flat, it's not comfortable, uh, it's difficult to get it to lie flat and just visually it's not very appealing. So this Bonadex elastication that we have here, it folds the elastic inside a casement to keep it nice and secure and then it holds it place in place with four rows of stitching. So what you get is a bit of elastication that stays put where you want it to stay put. So if you want to pull it down underneath your bum or you want to pull it up because you need to do something lower down, you know, a bit of a powder stop in the heels, uh, it stays in place. It will always lie flat uh, and it's much more comfortable. So, as I've already said, it's a very, very lightweight garment. It comes in at 130 grams, which is very similar in weight to an apple. It fits very neatly in its handy dandy stuff sack, but it will, like I said, compress down significantly. Here's one tucked inside a frag grenade pouch, just to give you an idea of how small it will go. Okay, so let's talk about sizing and fit. So for reference, I'm five foot 10, that's 180 centimetres, and I'm wearing a standard length Cierzo. As you can see, I've still got a little bit of length to go, and I've got a bit of length left in the sleeve. Now, you'll also note with the fit that it's quite generous. There's plenty of room in it. Now this is a twofold thing. The first is we want to cover as many body shapes as we can within the height bands, without having multiple sizes. The second is we want you to be able to use it over something bulky underneath if you need to. Whether that's bulky outer layers, trying to keep yourself warm, or if you're a military user, you might want to stick it on over a set of body armour. You'll also note that it's got quite a generous neck hole in it. The idea of this is so that you can get it on over the top of a combat helmet or a climbing helmet. 